Hello and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. I am Lord Forman, here playing as the mighty Portuguese Empire. We are currently trying to destroy the revolutionary revolution in Spain and get the revolution was crushed achievement. We are 87% of the way to a 99 war score. And since we already occupy their capital, all we need to has have a is a just waiting to let the war score tick up. So that's what we're doing. We have almost got enough tech, hopefully, to get the Enlightenment soon. Uh, I might speed that up just a bit. There we go. Uh, I don't know if that will be enough. No, it's going to be close, but not actually enough. Uh, we may have to boost it in one of these provinces again. There we go. That should be enough once we raise money. Yes, yeah, 11,000. Uh, let's talk to our burgers. It's 6,000. Not quite, but getting there. We'll just have to wait a couple months for our um, colonial nations to send us some gold. Speaking of gold, we're actually handling inflation perfectly. Good. And in case you're wondering about all the modifiers, we have trading in virtually everything at this point. <laughs> it's... I don't know if we have trade. I think we have trading in grain. Oh, we are trading in grain. <laughs> There's just so many I can't even select between them. It'd be nice if they were a little bit better sorted. Uh, we also are going to pick unrestricted coring distance, and that will likely come into come into more usefulness later on, uh, which is why I'm doing it. We are also currently beating up nations in Central Africa for no apparent reason, other than they were in my way and I kind of want it cleaned up a bit. Uh, we are going to demand unlawful territory from you. Or maybe we shouldn't have. Mm, Hess is Protestant. Uh, okay. Speaking of which, the HRE is, in case you didn't see it last episode, has got uh, 14 heretics in it. So overall, it's not doing wonderful, but it's in better shape than before I invaded the HRE. So. And our ruler died, and our next ruler is, in fact, a... Uh, Holy Roman Emperor as well. And he's only 7 though, so we're stuck with a 1-1-1 one, one, one ruler for a bit, which is not good, but at least it means we can still declare war, because we have a regent. So let's finish these guys off, and then we'll figure out what to do, and these guys are wisely not trying to wipe out my army. Good. Have to wait till we get 99% war score. Not good enough. We can embrace the institution. Cultural conversion cost. Cheaper. But also, we can finally catch up a bit in tech, because unfortunately, we have fallen behind slightly. They're at 25, almost 26. We're still at 24, but it kind of happens in this game when you become a large empire. You end up spending all your monarch points conquering things, so not too concerned. Uh, let's wipe these guys out. Nobody cares really that I'm wiping them out other than them. You know what? Uh, yeah, let's actually convert these three I just took. Before we core them. And then we're going to pretty much declare war on this guy next. Wipe him out, and then that should give us control of that area. And apparently I'm an idiot for saying there are no colonial provinces left. There are quite a few in interior Africa that I keep forgetting exist. And Mexico's rebellious once more. Great. So we're going to have to deal with Mexico in a little bit. Um, declare war. Don't even need a general. If we lose this, I'd be very disappointed in the fact that my guys are much better armed and much better trained. 
and I need to demand more unlawful territory. Great. And unlawful territory. Return that province. They are not Catholic. Um, we are going to do morale of armies. And keep promoting this guy as much as we can at the moment. Which isn't really that much. Nope, not enough yet, Spain. We'll punish the perpetrators, not that that helps much. Oops, uh, let's demand unlawful territory first. Oh, that is Sweden. Um, what did Sweden just take? Are any of this land Catholic? Rostock is. Okay, so we should demand Rostock from Sweden. Sweden, of course, being our ally, will accept, but it will not be happy with us too, too much anymore. Which is fine. Okay, that finishes off that area. Core that. Move that back to the coast. Probably going to have to repress rebels there at some point, but for now we're good. Still waiting on the 99% war score. But it is going up, although we do have a call for peace. Makes it a little hard to get a 99% war score if you get called for peace so early. Not much I can do there. Pretty much five more months we have to hold out. Uh, so what I want to see, I wanted to see that. Okay. Um. No, no, no. Getting a little distracted here. Um, oh, shoot. I didn't mean to offend Sweden even more. Oh, darn. Oh, I'm not happy with Sweden owning HRE territory. They are Catholic, so it is better than uh, some of the Protestants. Kind of. Why does it keep doing that when I go to click? I must be missing the the button somehow, and it keeps closing the page. So that's frustrating. Okay. Spain or rebels are retaking land, so we're going to have to do something about that. Oh, England's already on it. No trouble. No trouble at all. Once England subdues those last couple ones, we should be in a much better position. Where did I put? Okay, there's my military. I'm thinking... Now I'm going to need to leave this army in... The Far East. I'm thinking it might be worth trying to bring back one of my African armies to Europe to fight the war, the oncoming war with France. Come on, no. And more demanding of unlawful territory versus Bohemia. What a surprise. I think Bohemia is, yeah, Bohemia is now a great power. Impressively. Um, Let's drill. Ah, they're occupying this region. No wonder the war score is going down a bit. This 
speaking of wars, the United States wiped out my colony. <sighs> okay. 29. At least they're dumb enough not to try and take on Louisiana, because I'm pretty sure Louisiana is really good. Oh, another colony done. Another culture group shift off, shipped off to the middle of nowhere. Um, I got four there. We might as well work on... Uh, actually, let's do this one first. Why not? Ninety-four. How much does it go? Nine more. Okay. Ooh, this takes a while, doesn't it? Revolutionary Spain is now controller of the papacy. Oh, great. At least they can't excommunicate me, I don't think. Still, that's unlucky. Speaking of church, though, we might be able to do some more Jesuits. We got the mission. Okay, so for future, future reference, it says Jesuit missions, and it just says have an assigned holy order. It means the Jesuit holy order. It should have been a little bit clearer, I think, that tooltip. But uh, got it anyway. Come on, we need to get this to 99. It's not that hard. We just need to actually get there. Ninety-seven. Good. There we go. We can take those guys out. That should should give me close to a 1% war score. Come on. Great Britain's now in a golden era. We have a 99% war score. There we go. This revolution was crushed. We've actually gotten three. One. I, apparently we also got you get a new home and you get a new home as well. So... Uh, the knights, first off, let's eliminate the knights completely, because why not? They really contribute nothing to the game, ever. I've only ever seen them take two provinces from the Ottomans, so... Taking them out is just... Speeds up the game, honestly, probably. So, uh, Spain. Uh, let's say we want to take out their non-European non provinces first. Portugal, 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 Portugal. Those are all going to be claimed by Great Britain, so I don't actually want to give those up. Um, we want to take this, 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 finish off those guys. Take those two. Take those. that all going to Portugal good now comes the real question of what do we actually want to take um, North Africa is pretty valuable on its own, the coastline. However, Spain is a much more valuable trade area and just is richer. Let's see how much of North Africa I can actually take. Curious. I think I can probably take almost all of it. Yeah, I can take all of North Africa. And I don't really annoy anybody. Awesome. Um, there we go. And we can take Sicily. 
Is there any other Spanish provinces we have missed that we want to take? Um... I don't think so. Portugal, Portugal, Portugal. Okay. Oh, um, we don't actually want to dismantle the revolution, do we? Hmm, we might actually want to dismantle the revolution. But for that, we need to get 50. You know what? I don't think we need to dismantle the revolution. Instead, we will just become absolutely horrendously massive. Get control of all of North Africa, which, of course, now we have to core. Uh, oops. Cancel, 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 cancel. We need to reduce war exhaustion first and get... Portuguese Mexico under control. We've lost the fact of reaction and we've gained. Oh, nothing at the moment. Okay, we need 59. Russia has now, now announced May's arrival. Okay. Not worried about Russia, so. We've lost all our trading in stuff, though, which is. Kind of sad. Need to upgrade all my navies, apparently. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to harsh treat these just to try and get as high absolutism as possible. Now if we core them, it should be cheaper. Not that it was overwhelmingly expensive before, but we're still going to run out of admin power. Yeah, still a long way to go. 162% absolutism though, but we now control all of North Africa and we are looking like a great power, that's for sure. And we didn't offend really anybody in Europe, which is even better. And in two years we will return and try and kick out the United States from what should be our land. We'll see if it works. It may not. Don't think we're actually going to have much conversion to do, but we might have a handful of provinces that Spain never actually got around to converting. Well, it's nice we picked off some small little islands, because that will make life easier. Um, I believe... Oh, well, I'm actually coring that, aren't I? Okay. Great Britain is offering a royal marriage. Fine. The Salisburys are proving to be a pretty good dynasty. 663. Not bad at all. Let's rival Russia. See what the Ottomans think of me. Ottomans like me. Sweden likes me. And we are not doing too well winning the HRE stuff, but we don't really need to at the moment. Um, outrage countries. That looks about right. And let's do a series more of you. Hmm. 
minor inconveniences. We're going to have a couple rebellions. I don't think it should be as bad as our other major rebellions, though. Uh, Frankfurt. Don't actually want to improve relations with the U.S. We actually want to destroy the U.S. as soon as possible. Which is kind of hilarious. Um... Rebel Separatists, Portuguese in total. Um, we're just going to repress that. Oh, it's all the islands. That's why there's so much unrest. Delightful. Delightful, delightful, delightful. Give Malta to the Knights of St. John's? No, don't give them anything. Speaking of the Pope, we probably... Yeah, we have some favors to spend. Tondoan Separatists. Interesting. On top of Sunni Zealots. That pretty much finishes off that whole area. Gonna finish off this colonizing here at some hot we may want to go after Songhai at some point. Uh I'm gonna allow the practices to remain different practices, because we get more um branches to remain different practices. Might as well get the free development. Okay, we have rebels, which is kind of expected. And we should be able to squash them reasonably quickly. Although we are going to be facing a lot more rebellions very soon. There we go. Um, actually do that. We're going to use this army to control this region. Obviously, we have quite a bit of suppression to be, do be done in our recently acquired territories, but not particularly worried about how it's going to go. Now that we're fighting rebels, I'm going to start assigning generals. Once you fight rebels, you kind of need generals. Oh, helps if I unpause the game, doesn't it? There we go. Okay, this is starting to look like it's going to be a rather endless war against rebels again, at least for a short while. So I think I'll end this here, that way you guys don't have to sit through it all this episode, and make you sit through it all next episode. So thank you guys all for watching, that'll be it from me, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.